The cuts that are happening in Warsaw, like all over the country, as I am representing mental health. I have been a service user for 35 years and I've never known it so bad as what it is now. The Dorothy Pattison is our local acute hospital, which I've been in about 15 to 16 times over the years. Before then it used to be St Matthew's, which was at Burntwood. In 2002 I came to the Broadway North after having a very bad spell in the Dorothy Pattison, which I was on lock-up wards and drugged up for at least four to five days. The Broadway North, that used to have its residential and crisis beds, were taken away from us three years ago by Warsaw Council, which was an ongoing thing from the government as a clampdown on mental health. Now our day centre is under threat and I am absolutely terrified, not just for myself or my service user friends, but for other people, like everyone who's service users, young people, people of my age, older people, good people who I've known for years and years, who have got nowhere to go, nowhere to lie eyes with. The staff are brilliant, they're very caring, they're very um, knowledgeable. If there's nowhere to go in the Dorothy Pattison and there's nowhere to go in the West Midlands, you could have to travel hundreds and hundreds, hundreds of miles for a bed or sometimes there's not even been a single bed in the whole of the UK. A good friend of mine and Wendy's committed suicide about three weeks ago. The saddest part of it all is those, there's 12 beds upstairs in the Broadway North that guy could have been safe with um, 24 hours round the clock um, care, which the Broadway North Residential and Crisis Unit provided. Much too often we're hearing of people committing suicide. The cuts to mental health are absolutely atrocious. People are ending up in police cells when they shouldn't be in police cells. They are not criminals. We are not criminals. There's no funding. The funding has been cut. There's no residential centres. There's no daycare centres. CPNs are being sacked. Social workers are being sacked. Primary care is all over the place. The government needs to really fund mental health. It's cut it to the bone. And local councils, whether it be Labour, Tory or Liberal Democrat, I think should stand up to the government Take a stand with local people. Stop cutting mental health services and other services. Stop doing the government's dirty work. Take a stand with the people and put our services back on track. Stand with the people, unite with the people who've put people, the local government, in power. Fight the government, the Tory government, who are causing these cuts and these unnecessary deaths and take a stand and be with us. DWP are also causing people the PIP assessments, the ESI assessments, ATOS, Maximus, people on benefits who have got mental health problems have actually died, they've committed suicide through atrocious government cuts, atrocious bullying by private companies on the most vulnerable of society. And I think it's an absolute abomination. We, with mental health problem, problems and illnesses, we are not criminals, we are ill. And we are punished for being ill. Our services are being taken away from us, they are being cut to the bone, and there is nothing left. This is not on. In 21st century Britain, the fifth richest country in the world, this is an absolute disgrace.